few years ago, Nvidia released a demo of a new AI tool that resembles Microsoft Paint but had an AI back end. This tool could turn any painting into a realistic photo and since then it has evolved from a simple demo into a standalone application that you can use now. The Canvas 360 tool differs from other generative AI tools such as Midjourney or Stable Diffusion in that it allows the artist to maintain control over the image and art direction. In comparison to Midjourney, the images produced by Canvas 360 look more realistic and geared more towards environments than objects or characters, unlike Midjourney or Stable Diffusion. While Canvas 360 may not be the winner for the ongoing AI wars for generative art, it has proven to be more useful for artists in the visual effects industry. This tool can be used for set extensions and matte painting in movie production since it provides greater control over where you can add detail and what type of detail. If you are not familiar with the concept of set extension and how frequently it is used in movies, you may not immediately recognize the significance of Canvas 360. Allow me to clarify. Set extension is a visual effects technique used to expand the boundaries of a, of a physical film set or location by adding additional digital elements to it. It is typically used to create the illusion of a larger or more complex environment which may be too expensive, impractical or even impossible to build in reality. For example, let's say a movie is set in a city and the filmmaker wants to show a spot of the main character walking down a street with a large skyscraper in the background. If the production budget does not allow for the construction of a tall building or the filming location does not have a tall building, the filmmakers can use set extension to add a skyscraper digitally to that spot. To create a set extension shot, the film crew shoots the scene on a physical set or location and then uses VFX software to add digital elements to it. This can include 3D modeling and rendering, compositing, and matte painting. The end result is a seamless integration of real and digital elements that creates a convincing and immersive visual experience for the audience. Unlike mid Jenny and Stable Diffusion, which produce final products in forms of images, Canvas 360 produces raw materials that you can use right away in your production pipeline. It is not a tool designed to replace you in your job, but rather it is an application to add to your workflow similar to Photoshop or Substance Painter. Furthermore, you can even use Canvas 360 to create your own HDRI images for use in 3D applications. So if you want to download Canvas, uh, you can go to their page. I'll be leaving links in the description. It's free for downloading. I'm going to show you how to use it here because I already have it installed. It's the installation process is very simple. And I think it's about 1 GB to download it. And uh, it also downloads other stuff. So you might be looking at uh, around 1.5 GBs of data uh, to download. But uh, it also supports exporting directly into Photoshop. Uh, it also it has this layer system uh, that uh, you can use to generate masks for the different things you have generated. So let's jump into Canvas 360 here. Now let me just create a new file. You can choose from two options. You have a standard image or a panorama image, which is an HDRI image. Let's start with the standard one. And uh, yeah, the layout is very, very simple. Like I said, you start with a sky, a clear sky here that produces uh, this image here. On the right, you have your materials, you have your styles. I uh, have a layer system here and you have your brushes on the left side. So if I wanted to draw some clouds, I would just select the clouds uh, brush and draw a stroke like that. And uh, I should start to see some clouds form. Uh, if I wanted to add some mountains, I just have to look for a mountain or hill and uh, I, can draw, I can draw some hills under here and you can see it updates really, really fast. So those are some hills. I can add a mountain, I can just draw something like that. So you see that uh, if I draw and I leave a gap between here, it will also reflect in the background here. But by the way, you can draw in this canvas or in this canvas here. So if I wanted to fill this area here, I can draw directly onto there uh, because I want this to be a real mountain without any hole in it. So I just have to draw it uh, like that or I can draw in something like this. can make this even taller. Just making it taller like this. So you can see how this is going to be very, very useful uh, for set extensions. Some folk like that, just a bit of it like that. Some grass in the foreground. Uh, Revel is, so this is a forest. Maybe you can add a forest. For example, in this, with this style, you can see how realistic this looks. And maybe let me try drawing a smiley face here and see. 
it's it's not perfect but it works for the most part and uh if you click on the export here you see you have the ability to export an exrf image or psd file or png so let's go to a new file here and create a new hdri image so that i can show you uh the workflow for that so panorama and that should create a new image it's going to be a wide image and you have the 3d preview where you can look at uh, the preview here and see what's going on uh you also have this flood fill uh, where is this or fill option so if I wanted to fill this up with mountains, I can just select this and I can just make sure that uh, the background is all mountains and uh, that's what I have. And uh, maybe we could have uh, a line, increase the brush size here. And I can use your square brackets to shrink the brush size or not. Uh, so I'm just going to get this line and select a forest. Yes. Just draw that there. And now you can see we have a forest like that. And I want it to occupy most of the foreground. So let, let's export this into Blender as an XR. Call this uh, BG for background. Exports really quickly. Jump into Blender. You can see I've done a few tests already. So to set this up, you just go to your world settings. And uh, Usually the default is set to color. I just said change this to environment texture and then open go to wh wherever you have Save that and uh, I'll just select. I think this is yeah, this is it BG and you can see now we have our background and uh, Yeah, it's a full HDRI image And uh, Canvas 360 is going to be a great tool for making HDRI and background images but if you're lazy like me and don't want to learn yet another application on top of the 30 you already use, try out HDRI Maker, a Blender add-on that you can use to create custom HDRI images right inside Blender. You can edit the HDRI and make it part of your scene rather than, than it being just a background. All download links have been added in the description if you want to read more or check out the downloads. Thank you.